Well, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Custom Profit and welcome back to our Tennis Manager 23 playthrough with Krusty Bun at the Custard Tennis Academy. Um, so we are in May 2027, so quite a long way into this save. Krusty is doing fabulously well, um, at least in terms of his ranking. He's still kind of creaking a little bit, feels. But our other player, um, Billy Bonds, not Billy Bonds, Billy Blades, um, is doing remarkably well. Look at him, 170, uh, 172nd now. Unbelievable. What, why is that unbelievable? Well, he's actually come a long, long way. He was, when we, uh, he arrived at this uh, academy at the start of the year, he was almost in the thousands in his rankings, but we have, we have marshaled him and got him in the, going in the right direction. And he's playing now in really good level tournaments. I mean, you can see how his clay um, tournaments have gone since uh, we were last together. Quarterfinals in in a uh, MTL 50 event. He won a finalist there in Italy. Another MTL 50 event. He won that. Quarterfinal here in this MTL 75. Won this MTL 20. Won this MTL 20. And in the French Open, he didn't quite get through the qualifiers. He actually lost in the first round. But got a nice chunk of money for that so that's really fantastic Krusty has been on a bit of a run as well in terms of tournaments some really good some not so good there's probably too many tournaments in here quarter finalist in the Houston championship that was good uh, at ATP 250 event lost to Shapovalov in the quarterfinals you can kind of understand why that happened then we went into this Masters event um, in Monte Carlo. Uh, Krusty got a good victory over uh, Karina Busta in the first round, but then lost to Alcaraz. You can understand why that might have happened. Uh, got Took Alcaraz to a tiebreak in set number two, so that was pretty good. In the Anning Open, this is an MTL 175 event, this was perhaps more disappointing Krusty was top seed and lost six love seven five to this Indian player very disappointing 121st in the world maybe he just wasn't in it I don't know went to Madrid soon after that and uh, yeah Krusty get with a good victory over the 88th ranked player Nick Hard but then lost to Yannick Sinner fairly easily in Bordeaux which is an uh, ATP 125 event Got all the way through to the semi-finals of this event and lost to the 99th ranked player in three sets. This felt like we probably should have got this and won this one, but didn't quite get there. And just played in Italy in a Masters tournament. And you can see Krusty got a great victory over Yuri Lecca in the first round, but then lost uh, against the fifth ranked uh, Greek player Stefanos uh, Tsitsipas. Um, but he did win the first set. So lots of positives going on there. But yeah, Krusty's not quite in the right place yet. He has played, uh, he got into the quarterfinals here in Geneva in this MTL uh, ATV 250 event. Lost to Baye, 80th in the world. Another disappointing result. Uh, so he's now in France and we're going to see how he goes here. We'll have a look at the first round draw. You can see Krusty's got a bit of a tricky one because he's all the way down here. He's playing 44th ranked Kuretin Mutet. So if he can get a victory there, that would be excellent. He's got uh, perhaps a slightly easier match if he gets through that to the round of 64. But then the round of 32, it looks like he would be up against the likes of Holgerun, which would be an incredibly tricky tie for him but we'll see how far he goes before we get into that just want to show you a little few changes in the infrastructure one which is almost on us uh is this one here the sports science study program two days left on that and we'll get a bunch more cash coming in and we've also just we got the uh, just put the cold therapy room um started that so we'll have uh, a good um overview there of all the the medical center things that we can put in but i think that's an area we do need to focus on we get some money for this as well but i was sort of looking through this and i think one area that we perhaps do need to go for is this video and tactical room because this gives us a couple of different training uh 
approach is it we 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 will lose six grand but yeah we're not we're not going to do that just yet but that's kind of what we're we're perhaps going to focus on next time right folks let's go and play this first round match against mutet frenchman it's going to be a hard one i think um you know these if, if anyone's ranked under the uh, in the top 50 it's going to be a tricky match but crusty is seeded could have been a better a draw for him a much much better draw for him in reality so never played each other i think we'll we'll go with the approach that we we are typically doing we'll we'll have that more balanced um um defense versus attack and we'll see how things go if you are enjoying this content i've just started a new playthrough for tennis manager 24 which has just come out just started that so if you're enjoying this go over and check that out right let's get this uh get this uh, show on the road folks right see see how we can get on remember it's best of five sets so we need to win three sets to get through this well it's tight it's a tight old match but crusty first break opportunity 15 40 up uh against mutet and um yeah he's winning quite a few points on mutet's serve and i, I wonder whether the this particular type of tennis on the clay is more to crusty's liking because it's not so much about power it's about um keeping the rallies going and not not making mistakes <laughs> oh, oh well well, all through, it's gone straight through the other way. Fifteen forty now. So, uh, Krusty, he Mutet managed to help hold Krusty off. Can Krusty do likewise? And uh, well, that's one into the net. It's a pretty poor one. It's about halfway up the net. That's that's an interesting one. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, he managed to. 4-3 now and 15-40. This time again for Krusty. Can he... Is anyone going to break? Well, they do. Krusty has the break. And Krusty has the set point. 5-3 in this first set. Oh, that was awful. Just another set point here. Second set. Oh dear me, that was a risky second serve. Big backhand there. Oh, and there we go, what a forehand. Um, first set one by Krusty, very, very good. We'll just drive on to the next one, I think. Well, Krusty was 30 love up there and he's just dropped the last three points but managed to pull it back there. 2-1 it is to Mutet and Krusty trying to avoid the break here. Early days into the net though it goes. Well, Krusty with a good few chances but just didn't make the most of it. Into the net again. Looks way wide. Oh, it's on the line. It's the break. And Krusty, after winning the first set with a bit of a battle, he's he's kind of given away this second set. Despite having the chances, or some chances, and he's really not been very good on his own serve. That's a lovely hit. And what a terrible, at the worst possible point. He is, I mean, you look at that, 6-1 loss, but it didn't feel like he was doing that badly. First serve percentage is down to 50% in that set. That is pretty dire. That's very, very unlike Krusty. So we've just taken the risk down a little bit in on, on the first serves, and we'll see how he does. Well, it's two one set all. Krusty has first blood potentially in this third set. It stays on that side. It's two love. It's three love up. Fifteen forty. So very different set. 
He's coming in. And he's gone wide with that. I don't know why he was trying like this. A top backhand top spin shot, but it's four love down. He looks in trouble. Well, a bizarre set this is considering the last one. He's love 40 up here and he's got a chance to bagel him. Um, Krusty has to get two sets to love up. Oh, went for a drop shot. We're trying it. We are trying to sort of um, get him better with those drop shots. I've just noticed we're playing a lefty. I hadn't noticed that. He's coming in. He's done the same shot. Six love, so wow. Six three one six six love is currently what things what's going on. So we are two sets to one up. Can we push on and take this final or uh, this fourth set and not get this going to a final set, which would be not what we want. We've upped his relaxation, which is great. Let's, uh, let's do this thing. And we are one love up in the fourth set and we have an advantage. This is what we want to see, folks. Oh, that's a lovely hit. And he's outdone him there. Two love. And three love up and an advantage. It's it's a weird old game this is but you do see these occasionally don't you into the net and Krusty is looking on he, I mean it could all drop down from here but Krusty is in perfect opportunity to, to, to take this I think now what am I saying why did I say it 15-40 so uh, could he could he pull things back into the net it's first first set back 4-1 it's 4-2 and this has got a break opportunity again. Dog's going crazy. You think, well, how can he... How can he screw this up from here? And he's done it. Back to 4 all Or 4 a 4 3 It's 5 all and Krusty from 4 love up. Potentially could give a break away. Three breaks, and there it is, the third break. Six, five. Did you see this coming? I certainly didn't. Right, it is a break opportunity for Krusty to take this to a tie break. But you think, looking at this, there's only one way this is going to go. It is a tie break. But Krusty is not, he's not the one in control of this at the minute. But he does have a match point. On his own serve. Oh, it's hit. It's in. Can you believe that? That looked weird. Six all. Oh. I can't believe that. That looked a miss hit. What a lovely shot that is. So he has got a break chance here. Seven six. Second serve. Into the net. There it is. In four sets. Three one. Krusty is through the first round match um, in Paris in the French Open. That feels like a big result. It does. I think that's such an impressive result. A really hard fought one, considering he was four love up in that fourth set and that let it slip. Sports study program is now complete. That's good. Good news. So we're going to be playing a Luca Nardi next up. And the winner, undoubtedly, will be going up against Holgerun, which will be a challenging match um, in itself. But Krusty would perhaps be the favourite for this one, but, but not by a huge amount. Certainly he's lost to players recently at this, this sort of level, so it, Krusty would certainly be looking to get... A win here and if he does you know he getting through to that round of 60 round of 32 whatever happens it's a big old thing it's uh you get a lot of money for that 250,000 so we're going to get about half of that so let's see what we can do against Nardi I think we've played him before he's beaten us before um that was in Bordeaux over 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 three sets so we've had some tight games Let's see what we can do against Nardi. We've upped his motivation. If you're willing to keep a perfect haircut at the end of the match, there's no room for a win. Give your absolute best.
Of course, that's exactly what I'd say to him. Come on. Right then, folks, let's dive in. Well, not the best start. Nardi's already got a couple of break opportunities here. He's coming into the net. Krusty does not like net players. And there we go. One love. Easy. And Krusty here struggling on this, his next service game. I'm not sure how Nardi's doing it, but it's back to Juice. And thankfully, Krusty's finally back into this. He won that last one, and he has got a break back opportunity. Nardi's into the net. 30, 40. Powers it away. Second break. Just change it up there. Using different spins. Does well. Oh, into the net. Juice. It's 3-1 up. Nardi. Really feel Krusty should have pulled it back there. Nardi here with the break opportunities on his own. So he could get back to... Uh, well, there he goes. Back 4-1 up now. Really needs to start to make most of these. Another one, though, here. Into the net. Nardi makes mistakes. Krusty's got a break back. And it's 5-3 and love 40 down. So not the best bit of play we ever like to see from Krusty. And there we go. 6-3. Lost the first game, first set. But, well, it's a long way to go still. We're coming back out here and see what Krusty can come up with. Starts well. 15-40. Break opportunity. Oh, it's come over. Hits the net and dribbles over. Again, Krusty struggling to get over the line and his serve. He had a 40-15 uh, a lead and just gave them all the, all the points up. That's a lovely hit. Right in the corner. Risky as heck, though. Well, one all. Krusty got his, his uh, serve after a bit of a battle and he's got another break opportunity on Nardi's serve. It's working hard for the for the um, everything here. That's way long. 2-1. He's got a break. 3-2 up and uh, another break, he's, break chance he's got to hold on to here. Nardi pushing hard. He doesn't want to uh, go back in level if he can avoid it at the end of this set. He wants to be two sets to love up. Oh, he's done well. He's uh, back to three all. And it looks like Nardi might be taking uh, another lead. Four, three, and Krusty could be behind before too long in this set. Being pushed back. Just the depth and power of Nardi's strikes. And then he goes wide there. Five, three. Krusty's in real trouble here. And there we go. So Nardi, he's 6-3. Uh, Despite Krusty having a lead and a, being a break up in this third, second set, he's, Nardi's pulled it back. And Krusty is way wide with that one. So another disappointing performance there. And there was a close set, though. A much closer set this time round. First serve percentage from Krusty, 93%, but only 58% of them are actually finding the finding the mark. So we're going to go more risky. Right, so what we're going to do is increasing the risk on the wide serves. So really trying to get as much as we can out of those wide serves as we can. And it hasn't worked. We're 15 40 down again. Everything we're trying to do is not working. And it's frustrating after beating a player who's ranked a lot higher than Nardi. We're really struggling to get, get get an advantage over this this player. Lovely. That's what we've that's what we've um, implemented. Well, a little advantage here from Krusty. Could he take a two 0 lead? It would be a long way back, but 
There we go, 2-0. There's still a chance. Well, Krusty actually 5-3 up in this third set. And he's 40-love uh, up here. Wow, Nardi slipped there, didn't he? He's gone wide. And Krusty takes that third set. So, he's still in it. He's still in it. What do we do? What do we do? I think we, we carry on. We've gone a little bit more aggressive with the serve. We're still getting 79% in, but I think really pushing for those wide serves, maybe that is helping us. Well, early opportunity for Nardi here. Got to just hold on and battle. Try and keep the mistakes to a minimum. Mix the uh, slice up with the top spin. Trying to avoid him coming into the net. There we go. Every time he comes into that, we are in trouble. So, two love. Nardi has the advantage. And there we go. It looks like it might be all over. Not quite sure what's happened, but Krusty's struggling now. Maybe a little bit tired. Can we criticise? Oh, his confidence is going down. Nardi's doing brilliantly. Oh, it's gone wide. Still in it. You know, two breaks is too much. But maybe one break you could get back from. But, I mean, Krusty's really having to work hard here. It's gone along that. 30 40. Into the net again. The amount of volleys Krusty's put into the net is unbelievable. We go. It is 15 40. 5 1 in this, this set, and it looks like Krusty is going out. He battled 30 40. He battled hard in the uh, fourth set, third set, but just succumbed really. It's gone along there. Back to juice. And another advantage, another match point to get into the next round. He's into the net. And there we go. Yeah, it's just the passing, his passing game is terrible. Absolutely terrible. And I don't really know what to do about that. But yeah, a bit disappointing in the end. Didn't quite get it done. And, uh, yeah, Krusty goes out of the French Open a little bit earlier than I expected him to, in all honesty. But he'll get some he'll get some money for that. Whether he'll lose points, I don't know. We might lose points there. We get 52 grand. Oh, it's all right, isn't it? Over 200 grand in the bank. So we'll have a look what what's coming up. We'll probably be back for the... Uh, for Wimbledon, I think that seems the, the next obvious choice. We've got a couple of tournaments uh, on grass that uh, we're, we're waiting to play in. And yeah, Wimbledon, we'll see if we can get a little bit further in that. I'm just a little bit frustrated with all that because I felt I felt we, we should be a little bit better. But yeah, it is what it is. We, we'll, um, we'll come back stronger, um, try and work out what went wrong there. If you've got any ideas, let me know. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.